Good morning! It's February the 8th, 2021, and we welcome you to Jake's Bounty! I'm in the garage, it's going. All right, thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I'm your host, Jake Hernandez, and it's, uh, well, a lovely Monday. I know you guys gotta work, but here it's lovely <laughs> in the studio at Fornicate Yourself Studios. And anyhow, it is uh, February the 8th, 2021, so we're going to have a little bit of a happen this day, uh, happen this day back in music, and also we're going to have a little review with the Foo Fighters and the new album, Medicine at Midnight, and that's the song you heard right there, that's a title track, um, we'll be having a little, uh, you know, bio or a review of them uh, later on in the show, so we'll go ahead and do that. But first, let's go ahead and thank the sponsors today. Uh, we have now at Ray's Video, it's The Blind Side. That's right, Academy Award winning movie that stars Sandra Bullock. Okay, she won the Academy Award winning actress. And this was also nominated for Best Picture, but did not come away with it. All right, very good movie right here, The Blind Side, over at Ray's Video, on video, on DVD. Uh, Seven Day Rental, you know all the rest. Go get it right now, race video. Okay, also want to let you know we have a stove top grill still here, uh, Jake's Bounty, and it's um, let's see, it's nine ninety nine. So go ahead right now, go to Jake's Bounty, type in the word grill, and you'll get this guy for nine ninety nine. Okay. All right, and finally we have AIDS. That's right, AIDS. Can help you kill rodents, can help you kill bugs, can help you kill, well, bad uh, body odor and bad breath. Can maybe help you get women. Who knows? AIDS. Now you can have AIDS too. All right. And now let's go ahead and get to my bounty. Stay right there because I forgot to get it. You can listen to some more Foo Fighters. Technical difficulties there. I had trouble stopping it. <coughs> uh, okay. Well, let's go back and get to my bounty, why don't we? I had this bag and another bag. Get some more room. Here we go. Sorry there, Dave. Can't <laughs> can't keep playing you. All right, here we go. This is the uh, first bag. I had two bags of uh, cans today. So let's go ahead and take out some right here. Uh, Kirkland Purified Water. Dasani Water. So they can get some else with water. Rockstar right there. Energy Punch. Let's see, Monster. Uh, Monster Juice. Okay. And um, Purified Drinking Water. And also Dr. Pepper, good stuff. Alright, and let's go ahead and put these back. Also, I found a uh, Untal One uh, Red Bull. It's 20 ounce. Uh, see, I told you they made something bigger than the uh, 16 or the 12 ounce. I don't know if they make anything bigger than the 20 ounce. They probably do. I have yet to find it, though. If you have, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Um... Want to go ahead and get to a uh, little treasure I found on um, the excursion. I found a quarter and a penny. So now I got 26 cents. That's like finding five cans right there. Good stuff. Don't have to cash it in though. It's already cashed in. All right. 
Well, let's go ahead and get to the review of uh, Medicine at Midnight, why don't we? This is the video uh, for Medicine at Midnight. Kind of cool, right? Uh, you kind of heard uh, this song earlier, just right now, and then <laughs> in opening credits. Uh, excuse me. Anyhow, uh, Foo Fighters uh, released this new album, Medicine at Midnight. Uh, they released it last Friday, February 6th. And they had such singles as uh, Shame Shame, um, Waiting on a War, and I believe No Son of Mine uh, came up before the album was released. A um, little fun fact about the album, it was actually recorded and done uh, just a year before. Uh, and then pandemic hit and they didn't know uh, what to do with it. So they decided to uh, just leave it on the shelves for a while. And uh, when they couldn't tour or do anything like that, they decided to finally release it in uh, February of 2021, okay? So, um, the boys, this is their 11th album. Wow, their 11th album. And uh, even though they're not going to tour behind it, and they love to tour, do, believe me not, if you've ever seen a Foo Fighters uh, show, it is a great show like none other you've seen. They play for like three hours and play, you know, great all their great songs, as uh, well as other cover songs and uh, songs you don't even know. You know, so I'm just saying, um, this is a lot for them to go from, you know, playing and knowing and being as a live band to just uh, releasing a record, going to the studio and trying it that way. But even so, uh, I think this album did a lot of good for them. Um, they have other songs just besides the singles that I uh, listed. The other songs that I think are very good are also, um, here we go. So we have No Son of Mine, which sounds like um, basically Motorhead, um, with a little bit of Dave Grohl and the Foo Fighters, and it has that Motorhead feel to it. And there's also Waiting on a War, which is like classic Foo Fighters, you know, they kind of like Start off slow, and they build up, build up, and then at the last minute, they just go crazy nuts, you know, it's good stuff. And finally, Cloud Spotter, just a great song from uh, beginning to ending, you know. Um, they have many other great songs in this album, too. They're trying to, like, branch out. They, you know, have an 80s sound to them, kind of like a David Bowie-esque, especially at Medicine at Midnight, that song you heard right there. Um, you know, I think it's a very good album in their catalog. And I give it a B minus. All right. So go ahead and pick up your copy today of Foo Fighters Medicine at Midnight. All right. Well, let's go ahead now and get to uh, happen this day in music. All right. Well, um, before we do that, though, we're going to have some news because I fucked up. <laughs> Didn't do the news. All right. Tom Flores of Sanger, a former NFL player for Oakland Raiders. Uh, he played in 1960. All the way through 1970, and in with the Chiefs, uh, you know, the Chiefs, they obviously uh, lost uh, last night to the Buccaneers, 31-9. to All right, but back to uh, Tom Flores. He's been finally uh, inducted into the uh, Na National Football League Hall of Fame. Okay, so good for him. Uh, Fresno PD stayed busy after the Super Bowl with many drunks. Uh, they stopped 147 people. Only field uh, sobriety tests, they only had 11 of those, and only three people were arrested. So, not a bad percentage, but, you know, still 147 stops. It's a lot. All right, driver escapes, uh, uh, driver escapes after leading Clovis PD on a high-speed chase. Uh, he crashes in North Fresno. Started uh, The chase started at Perrin Miniwawa. Uh, he was driving a Chrysler, and then... Uh, he lost control over Highway 41 and Fryne Avenue. Um, the driver was not yet found as uh, he ran away. And I think they say he got into some apartments. They have not found the driver, but the passenger has been detained. All right. Well, a 25-year-old UPS driver, uh, Rayland Elzey, let's see, uh, by Celia, uh, passed away when he was hit by a semi-truck. Um, Fortunately, he wasn't wearing his seatbelt, and that door that was always open for UPS drivers to go in and out, you know, to do the deliveries, it was also open, so he was killed instantly. Ouch. 
Um, I wonder if there's going to be some kind of like training or they're going to be closing it now or I don't know. That's going to be a hazard. All right. Can't be the first time that's happened. Uh, okay. Also, um, what else? Uh, it's going to be a nice sunny day today. Uh, go ahead and enjoy yourselves. It's going to be like 65 degrees. Somewhere around there. I don't know. No, who the fuck knows? It's the weather. Okay. All right. Now, I want to go ahead and let you know about it happened this day in music. All right. Today's date is February 8th, 2021. But this day, back in uh, 1975, February 8th, uh, Bob Dylan goes to number one with his LP, Blood on the Tracks. All right. Now, this will be one of his most popular uh, LPs. And it would sell over 2 million copies, all right? And uh, also, February 8th, 1990, all right, back in this day, Del Shannon, singer 60s hits, uh, Runaway, and other 12 top 10 UK 40 hits, uh, singles. He dies from self-inflicted gun wound. Unfortunately, uh, he dealt with depression, had many demons, and uh, he unfortunately uh, committed suicide. There were many tributes to him by uh, the Beatles, uh, well, the, you know, rest of the members of the Beatles, as well as Tom Petty. Um, February 8th, 2009, Chris Brown, age 19, had a complaint of abuse by a woman who's not Rihanna. <laughs> uh, this came later, actually. Later, uh, Brown was uh, released on a $50,000 bond, and the woman was never uh, identified. So, um... You can take that what you will. I mean, we all know what happened uh, with Rihanna. So I kind of believe this unidentified woman. Okay, well, unfortunately, we don't have any time for 3 night games, puzzles, trivia questions, and all that jazz. But you still can get it here at Jake's Bounty for $7.99. Just type in the word trivia book. Also, remember, we still have uh, a blind side over here at Ray's video. Uh, great Academy. Academy Award winning movie right here for the Oscar season, all right? And finally, AIDS. That's right. You can get AIDS 2 now. Uh, great for killing rodents, killing body odor, and killing bad breath. AIDS. Now you can have AIDS 2. All right. So that's going to wrap up today's show. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. I enjoyed myself. And right now, we're going to go ahead and take you out with some more of uh, Foo Fighters, Medicine at Midnight. Before I do that, I want you to know tomorrow we'll be having a Punk Bio uh, band that you hopefully have heard of and a little bit of other uh, music as well. We'll also have my bouncy. We'll also have um, the news and who knows what I found on my little excursion. Could I find another $100 bill? I don't know. I found 25, 26 cents, excuse me, today. So you never know what's going to happen on Jake's Bounty. Uh, you guys have a good rest of the day. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. All right. See you tomorrow. Computers, right? <laughs> Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2021. You can follow Jake on his Facebook page, or you can go to his website. You can also go to his channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and also please subscribe.